Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Dennis Fierick, and his question is asking my thoughts on using chain link fence gates to make a ground plane for the Hustler, um, and I'm thinking BTV is what he means here. He's got sixth. Uh, but the Hustler BTV, which is a very common antenna, <clears throat> is this one right here. So the antenna is trapped, and you need radials on it right there. Okay? So let's talk about that a little bit. I'd like to pay a special thank you to Michael J. Ridzicki, who is uh, one of my patrons on Patreon.com. You, too, can become a patron by going to patreon.com and picking a method that works for you. First, let's go take a look at a chain link fence gate. Okay, this right here, uh, the whole thing, it's about uh, six feet by six feet, and it is a chain link fence gate. Um, these panels come separately. You can buy the panels and you just pull up on that and you can open the gate. This is how we get in to clean the dog run. Okay, so the problem that you have with these, uh, if you'll come up close, we'll take a look at the problem. If you like ground to this right here, okay, which is the piece of metal that goes around it, okay. Notice that these are kind of on with spring tension. This right here is spring. These wires like this can move. Okay. And you get in here, and there's no guarantee that you're going to have a good connection all the way across there. And short of soldering all the wires together, something like that, you have something that will be. Uh, even though this is uh, steel, it's uh, zinc plated. It's not uh, plated with uh, stainless steel or anything like that. So with time, they will corrode. So we saw one of the problems with the chain link fence uh, kind of gate, those prefab uh, units. We've assembled a bunch of them into the dog run. They're not cheap. They're about $100 each or a little bit more. Um, but you've got a corrosion problem. They're zinc coated, they're not uh, coated with uh, stainless or anything like that that would make them have good connections. They're designed to have good mechanical connections, but again, it's a spring kind of thing. Okay, so you can get corrosion in there, which makes them perhaps not last very long. The second problem, the biggest issue, is that they're too small to be effective radials. If you have the room, I would try to run from the base of the Hustler antenna about, um, oh, 10 or 15, maybe 20 radials that might ever fit what, whatever location that you're in. Uh, you can get a stranded, insulated THHN wire, the single wire, or what's well, a Single piece of wire has seven strands, okay? I like the insulated because really they become the counterpoise for the antenna and we don't want them messing up with the ground. You want the center of that radial field to be grounded. So you can, if you want, the way I've got my vertical out there is there's actually a ground rod driven in and then there's like 30 some odd radials and then that connects to the shield side of the coax. Okay, and that works really well. Um, so I would recommend that even though it says it doesn't need radials, it needs some sort of a counterpoise. Okay, and that could end up being your cable, your coax. It would be the shield of the coax. And if you don't have a lightning arrestor 
or you don't have it attached to ground somehow before it comes into your shack, that could bring the counterpoise really all the way up to your radio. And that uh, current that flows on the outside layer of the coax shield could then create all kinds of RFI uh, problems for you inside. So um, those are my thoughts. I think it's too small. If that's all you have, by all means do it, but I don't think it's going to last very long. Lay it on top of the ground rather than burying it. Um, you're going to create a tripping hazard by putting those in there. Um, so put some sort of little picket fence around it so people don't trip over it. Um, and then I, I think you'll be fine. So there are my thoughts, uh, Dennis. Yeah. See. So there you have it. It gives you some options for doing your grounding. And if you would like to help support this channel, you can go to decastlercom slash support. Pick a way that works for you. Either a one-time tip, a monthly tip, or becoming a patron. Um, and up to you which way works for you or nothing at all. After all, it's free to watch videos on YouTube. So until we next meet, 73.